I am a huge advocate for building a strong SEO strategy on Etsy, but today's store breaks all those barriers and makes six figure sales without any SEO skills. Let's dive in and see how they do it and how a few simple tips could really boost their sales, potentially even by millions of dollars. Okay. This store is quite an anomaly and I absolutely just had to do a review on this store. They are making six figure sales, but there is such a huge serious potential to be pulling in sales. Like for example, Beadboat, which I did a review on and I will put the link to that video right up top here. Beadboat makes two and a half million dollars a year. So that is a massive difference. And I do want to point out that this store does have a lot of listings. They have over 76, almost 7,700 listings here. And a lot of them are quite popular. And here's what's cool is that they did not create 7,500 listings overnight. This is one of Etsy's oldest stores. This is an OG store. Guys, they are one of the original sellers opening their store in 2008. So as a 2008 seller, they've had plenty of years to learn, plenty of years to grow. And that kind of makes this review a little bit more remarkable because this store has almost zero SEO. They are not utilizing really any opportunities, maybe one, maybe two, but really literally hardly any of the SEO opportunities that they could be taking advantage of to grow. Let's take a look at their Etsy store stats. So this store has over 534,000 sales, 534, 704 sales. That's probably not the most eloquent way to say that out loud. However, their average product price is about $4. And of course I get that by looking at what their most popular products are, what's selling the most, what are they getting a lot of feedback on and splitting that <clears throat> going all the way back to 2008 and splitting that equally among all the years they've been open, that puts their sales at $145-ish thousand dollars, $150,000 maybe, somewhere in that range. So that's a pretty surprising number to me. It's a successful number and it obviously does not account for any of the growth that they've done. It just splits their sales equally. So obviously they're probably higher than that. But even accounting for growth, that's probably not putting them anywhere close to the two plus, two and a half plus million dollars that other jewelry sellers, jewelry supply sellers are bringing in here. So that being said, now that we've kind of taken a peek on that, let's look at their actual listings and you can get a really good idea of what in the heck is going on with this store. So this is one of the ones that had a message that it was in a lot of people's carts. And despite that message, it does not have the little bestseller tag here, which is kind of surprising to me. But at the same time, when you look at this listing, you're going to see there's probably a lot of opportunities lost where people could be finding this and buying this like crazy, but they're not. So if you've been staring at the screen while I'm yammering on here, you've probably noticed that this is the only image they have on this listing. There's literally no other picture of these beads and of what these look like. So that right there is a major problem. If I'm buying something that I'm going to be using to make jewelry, I want to know what it looks like. And she could probably scroll through her reviews and see maybe if a seller or maybe if a buyer has bought these beads, maybe she can pull a picture of what those look like. I don't know if these are the same beads, but she does have some beautiful uh, pictures in here from sellers that she could potentially use or she could take some time and really create pictures of her own. We did see, I did do a photo uh, Etsy store review. I will put the link up at the top of a really unique jewelry supply seller that had 
was they source their products from South America and she, that seller, just makes these really cute, simple little videos with the items in her hand. And it's a great way to showcase the item without having to make a lot of energy and a lot of effort to do so. So moving on to the next thing that you've probably already noticed is that this title is insanely short. So it offers almost no keyword opportunity here. So I'm just going to jump over to my workbook here, my Etsy seller success workbook and type that in here. And it looks like she, they are using 61 characters out of 140. So this seller has only taken the opportunity to use a little less than half of the characters that they could potentially be using to capture more views, to see more, um, traffic a lot more pop up a lot more times or a lot more often or even a lot higher on the search results so they really need to add some keywords into their title and be descriptive here about what they're actually selling taking a peek here at their description it's really more of the same it's very basic there's very very basic information here there is not even any sort of statement about um these are beautiful beads or these beads are perfect for making beautiful jewelry. You know, there's no sentence whatsoever in here except that they try to make every attempt to represent the item's true color. And this is such a short, short description that it is really just a massive, massive opportunity loss to capture not only SEO opportunities, but really to capture the buyer's attention. So let's go down and look at their tags okay so looking at their tags we can see that they do actually have some more variety in here a lot of these are very basic tags like uh, blue teal aqua and then you have some slightly more descriptive tags like bead weaving bead looming spacer beads they've got the size of the bead there Let's look at another one of their listings here. Now, this one is also a bestseller and it has this coveted Etsy pick tag right here, which means it's a great product that people tend to love when they buy it and it got Etsy's attention. So like five stars for, for landing that, that's awesome. That is total Etsy goals right there. However, they are making almost all of the exact same mistakes. There's two photos for this one, which I love that they've got another one because this one shows the actual size of the product in comparison to a penny. Uh, this is US currency. So if you are purchasing something from outside of the US, you may not know particularly how big of a penny or how big a penny is, but this is a pretty good way to visually at least try to reference how big these pendants are. And they are adorable. This is a really adorable pendant but there's only two photos. There's not a lot of information. Uh, the title is insanely short. It's even shorter than the last title. I'm gonna drop this in here. 51 characters in this title. That is crazy, absolutely crazy. And again, very, very bland uh, description. It looks like they just copied the specs right from their manufacturer and pasted them in here going down to their tags they do have more uh tags raw brass i'm not sure what dime store eam is but oh dime store emporium okay so that's interesting because that's not the name of their store so i'm not sure why they have that maybe it's a competitor store name retro tiny long handle heart spoon so spoon is actually a relevant tag here um drop charm pendant a lot of these tags are just single words that in themselves don't necessarily mean anything so if you're in etsy and you're looking for heart something this may pop up and it may not be relevant to what you're looking for at all and it's really wasting um it's actually really quite detrimental or it can be quite detrimental to your store because etsy's algorithm is saying, hey, I'm showing this, I'm showing it to a lot of people, but nobody's buying it. And there must be something wrong with this product. So 
really to have such basic tags does not do you any favors in a situation like this because heart could be for anything drop could be for anything tiny could be for anything so you could really uh combine some of these keywords like tiny heart spoon or even just tiny heart tiny heart charm and not only are you creating more opportunities to use more tags because instead of three tags you're now using one tiny heart charm that's one tag you've got two more to use however you're also telling etsy's back-end algorithm this is a tiny heart charm and they're going to show it to more specific users they're going to show it in searches that are more specific it's going to get more clicks and it's going to get more sales so to see this listing that has such a um, honestly, just mind blowing lack of any sort of SEO here. And they've managed to get Etsy's pick tag here is amazing. I love that. So I really think it's really worth the, the time and energy to put into updating your listings and they have a lot of listings. So probably if they're getting the sales that they feel like they want to get, they may not see that as a valuable way to spend their time. However, there's actually a website, it's called Vela, V-E-L-A, and it costs, I think, five or 10 bucks a month, but it allows you to update listings in bulk. So you'd be able to do this a lot, lot, lot faster. And you could add uh, more words to your titles. You can add images. I think it's been a couple years since I've used Vila. Um, my products are a little bit more, they're actually pretty hyper specific, so I wouldn't be able to bulk update them. But, uh, when I had like my party supply store and my t-shirt store, that is something that I definitely used to update my listings in bulk a lot, a lot, a lot. It's so fast and it's so easy. It's definitely worth the money. You can just really take an hour or two digging through the Etsy search results to find other words that you may be able to use. You know, Google uh, turquoise beads, for example, and see what else pops up. What are other people saying to describe their turquoise beads? And does that apply to your product? Can you put that into your title and your description as well? So it's really, really worth the time when you see shops like Beadboat who are also selling beads, for example, jewelry supplies, for example, making millions of dollars. It is definitely worth that time. So if you want to see a shop that has really crushed the supply niche, you're going to want to make sure to watch this video here.